This is Nicole Ellis with the Washington Post, feet away from the March for Our Lives stage. I'm here with Jacqueline Corn and Naomi Walder. Jacqueline, you're from Parkland, and Naomi, you're from right outside of DC in Alexandria. What brought you two together and right here in front of me today? I mean, we've both been affected by gun violence, and we're, com we're from completely separate worlds. I'm, I'm a South Florida random high schooler, and she's an elementary school or a middle schooler from at, like DC, you know? Who would have thought we would be brought together, but I'm glad we were, because we both are fighting for the same thing. And so many people are too. Naomi, we were just chatting about this, but what's it like being one of the youngest here and being a representative for your community? Being a representative for my community feels, it's, it's like a big weight on your shoulders. It's a pressure that you, you have to explain that we can do this. And that, that, that's the same thing with being the youngest here. It's proof that I know what I'm talking about and that I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Jacqueline, I was just asking you about what it's like being here and you told me that it's not about you, it's not about how you're feeling or doing, it's about the march and about everything it represents. And that's something that's you know, so mature in an out of body perspective. And I'm curious about how this and everything going on today has changed your perspective about, you know, what it means to be a student or a kid in a world where you have a say. You know, before February 14th, I was just a normal high school girl in my own little Parkland bubble. That's what I like to call it. Um, I wasn't as aware of what was going on around me in the political world as I should have been. And I regret that. But I'm here to tell people that they need to involve politics in their everyday life because until it hits them, like it hit me, like, in, like a slap in the face, you need to do it before that happens. Is there anything about the march or about your experience so far that that hasn't been discussed that you feel like you want to talk about or share? I just want people to understand that this came out of a living room floor with a bunch of hormonal teenagers. That's what this is. And it's crazy to see that this happened just six weeks ago and now the world is watching us. It's such a commonsensical issue too and there's so much support for it. So I. I cannot fathom why these politicians are being so stingy. Well, actually I can, they're greedy for money. And we're here to show them that they're being selfish and you're gonna be voted out. Naomi, what have you learned about yourself and about your role so far in this experience? I've learned that I can push myself a lot harder than I like to admit sometimes. I remember I were, um, one time before I went to a town hall, I was, I was really tired and I just like, no, you're going. And if this, I believe that I never knew that I could stand up so, so tall and be so encouraging of myself for something I believe in. Thank you both so much for chatting with me. Nicole with the Washington Post, back to you.